And now Dalglish. Oh, and a quick save! What a lovely piece of football. Well, no goals, but there were smiles in plenty at Chelsea after that game. Indeed, it was almost as though they'd won it. And I suppose, in a way, it was a victory over the gloom and despair that had begun to stifle the club. And Danny Blanchflower has done a good job so far, but his eyes, I think, are more on the long-term future of Chelsea right now. Even so, Liverpool's Bob Paisley said afterwards, Chelsea deserved more than just a point. They've not played like this all season, otherwise they wouldn't be at the bottom. We had a bit of luck and were fortunate to be level at half-time. And indeed, Liverpool were fortunate to be level at half-time. When you look again, how close Chelsea came to taking the lead. Here we are, this is after just three minutes, when Ron Harris has a shot charged down there. Look at Ray Wilkins pouncing on it, chesting it down. Liverpool at this stage all over the place, and what bad luck. I didn't realise at the time that ball came off Tommy Langley's knee and against the post. And safely there, gathered by a really, uh, very much relieved Ray Clements. This corner from Clive Walker. It's Mickey Nutton who gets the header in there, not Eamon Bannon, who I thought first of all. Apologies to Mickey for that. And then uh, Gary Stanley gets that one charged away. As Bob Paisley uh, said, they could easily have been one or two goals down at half-time, and that's how close Chelsea came, in fact, to winning the game yesterday. And there was a lot for them and for their supporters to be pleased about, except, of course, as you've seen, they had none of the luck. Well, that's right. We didn't have much luck today. We hit the post a couple of times. But, uh, you know, we've got to start putting the chances away. Yes, but, I mean, there's still this gap at the bottom. I mean, it's still a, a big battle ahead of you, isn't it? Oh, hell of a battle, yeah. We've got to uh, start winning a lot of games. And today I thought we were very unlucky not to, to start this run of winning games. Yes. But at least we've not lost, you know. We can't afford to lose any more games. Do you feel it's a forlorn hope for Chelsea, or do you think there is...? I mean, you say we haven't got to lose any more games. I mean, that's really unrealistic, isn't it, to be honest? No, I think it's quite realistic. I think we, ca we can't afford to lose any games. Like, the Wolves are doing quite well. I don't know how they got on today. But they keep pulling away from us. And we've got to get up into that fourth spot. We can't afford to stay second or third, which at the moment it, it looks very much as if we are going to do. So we've got to start winning and picking up a lot of points. Would this be the best performance since Danny Blanchard joined you, do you think? Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah, I think the crowd helped us as well. You know, the crowd was very good. Mm. And... Uh, Let's so hope we can just start picking up some more points. Danny was reluctant to appear on television. He said, Ray Wilkins does all the talking for me on the field. Let him do the talking for me off the field. Um, what is it that he's brought, can you say, as a player to this club? I think he doesn't, he doesn't fear anybody. He doesn't uh, let any of that come, in, come into, the, into the dressing room. He thinks every team that comes here we're going to beat. And I think eventually it starts to rub off on, on a few players. And I think it's a great attitude. If we lose, he, he says you learn something. But he's never, he's never done in his face, he's always smiling and I think he's done very, very well. I think he must be smiling about his goalkeeper today. I think so, tell, yes. me, tell me what you felt about his first performance for Chelsea. Well, as I said earlier on, I think he, he demand... He, he's, he's, oh, sorry. His demand in the 18-yard box was fantastic. And I think, uh, just lately, we've not quite had that. And he was pushing our defence forward, which gave him a lot of room in the 18-yard box. Mm. And I thought we played a very good game. Well, what about this new goalkeeper, Peter Barotta from Yugoslavia? I think he could well become one of the big characters in London football on this showing. He does speak a little English, and although you may find some of it a little hard to understand, we thought nonetheless that you'd like to hear what he has to say. Were you nervous before today's no, game? No, I'm a professional. I have played 500 matches in Yugoslavia. Yes, I played 10 years. But it's yeah. still a big match here for you in front yes, of a big crowd I, for I play club. any big match. Is it very different playing as a goalkeeper in England from yes, Yugoslavia? Yes, yes, very uh, different. In, in, uh, in uh, English uh, football, very, very strong. Uh, many shoot, uh, uh, many kick, uh, and uh, very, very quick football. Yes. And, uh, strong, um, no better for, for goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. In Yugoslavia, easy, easy, technical. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, same Brazilian. Yes, that's uh, that's. Uh, in English, uh, more more problems yes. for keeper. Yeah, that really was a point one then for Chelsea, rather than one lost. And when you look at the bottom of the first division now, with Birmingham, Queens Park Rangers, Wolves, and Derby all losing yesterday, it's interesting. And as Danny Blanchflat pointed out, Queens Park Rangers, Wolves, Middlesbrough, and Derby have all yet to play Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And if Chelsea can just find somebody to knock in a goal or two, well, on yesterday's encouraging showing, they must still be in with a very good chance of staying up. 